Hi Capricorn, welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for May 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be an all-encompassing reading, so it's, in an, I guess it's a general reading. But it could end up being a romantic reading, or it could be about work, or it could be, either way, it's, it's just, it's not going to be only romantic focused like I normally do. Um, anyway, if this is about you, your person though, it, this could be or resonate with yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. So I guess this is kind of like a general May reading for you. <laughs> All right. All right, Capricorn. What's coming up for Capricorn in May? What do we got? May reading. Could be a little bit of everything. Five of Cups, the Fool, that kid. All right, I'm gonna tell you what keeps coming up. The Moon, um, the Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Fool. Those four have been coming up a lot. Strength, okay, that one too. And the Sun card, Strength and the Sun card also. The, all right, hi. The Sun, <laughs> so Gemini, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Leo, doesn't have to be. Could be someone with those qualities or just your outlook. And I can move this down a bit, huh? Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, nice. Well, okay then. All right. Whoopsie. No, don't do it. I, I, if this is you thinking about things, if this is you thinking and kind of, you know, going through like, oh, oh, you know, doggone it, could have been this, shoulda, woulda, coulda, okay, because we all go through that. But I don't, I, I want a new start for you. I don't want you lamenting or going back. I don't want that compelling you to go back. That's just my two cents. I think you suffered long enough, and I don't think this is just romance, but let's just see. All right. What's this fool card about? Because you are thinking about a person. What's this full card about for Capricorn? Ten of Wands. Nice. Everybody's adjusting to the new situation, huh? It's a strength card about for Capricorn. Oopsie. Seven of Cups. Good for you. That's wise. Because there's no, this, if you're making a decision when you're emotional, it's like, but I think, th I think you're on the other side of it. There's some kind of disappointment. It could be romantic, but there's some kind of disappointment here. And instead of you kind of running back in to fix it, you're just like, well, onward. And you're not, you're, it's almost like you have this sort of understanding that, yeah, it's going to take time to sort out. This is how it goes. This is what we do. I'm not going to go rush off and do anything silly. I'm just going to let it play out. And, you know, when you don't know what to do, this is the type of thing where you don't do anything. You you sit on it some more. What's this? Sun card. feels like you're doubting yourself a little bit, though. Like you might not know what to do and you're looking for an answer. And that's your answer. You don't know what to do. That's answer right there. Because th the reason why you don't know what to do is quite possibly because there's not much you can do or should do because you've been here before and your efforts didn't amount to much anyway. So could be that if we're talking about romance. Look at me, I'm starting to go romantic again. Okay, all right, no. What's this sun card about? But in other news, <laughs> this also could be the new normal that we're all adjusting to. And you're just like, well, gonna keep busy and don't really know what's gonna happen, but I guess this is in it for the long haul. We're all in this together and we're just going to have to stay the course. There's patience here. There's wisdom in knowing that you need to be patient for something to play out. And to not really do anything drastic, just stay the course right now. What's this sun card about? It did not so much romantic, just with anything. What's this sun card about? Empress. That could be Taurus or Aries. All right. So what's this Ten of Wands? 
Wow, that says a lot. Capricorn right there. Okay, so what's this? Um, I'll get to that in a minute. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? I think you just want to be by yourself. That's what this is. That Because you know what? You're on the other side of it. And I think it could be very well that you've got someone saying, like, can we, can we work on this? And someone's, you're on the other side. This, this feels like a romantic reading that you're on the other side of. And you're kind of going, no, we can't. It's over. It's over. And you're, you're lamenting, like, what could have, would have, should have. But it's not going to change your position. And, you know, it's just going to take time to get over it. Even if they're coming back promising the world here. Promising, you know, all of this hard work and effort towards, we got the Ten of Wands twice. No. So on the one hand, it's romantic. Huh. What's this Eight of Pentacles about for Capricorn? Hanged man. Work looks good, though. Can I just say that your, your May work is steady? There's no interruption in flow. You're not worried about it. You've got... Um, you're keeping everything... Everything is going as according to plan, like that's where your focus is. But, you know, in the quiet moments or even throughout the day when you're keeping busy, you're still kind of like, you still, it's like just that, that we all do. We just keep kind of circling back around. But the difference is you're not taking action and thinking that you could fix something. Maybe that's what you're hung up on is that no matter what you did, it never fixed anything. So, you know, you're not certainly not going to try now. So you're on the other side of this. You're keeping busy. Money looks good. Um, and cause you're really wanting to be by yourself here. This is you like, you know, I'd really rather just kind of be by myself. It's like, it's easier to do your own thing and it might be more, it might be extra work, but you're like, bring it. I'm not afraid of hard work. So this is you just wanting to kind of get some distance from this long ordeal, whatever this long ordeal was that kind of took your focus for the better part of two years, you're on the other side of it now. You're like, you know, maybe there's been a recent ending because it was just too much work. Um, and you're just like, yeah, I'm not going to run back and fix it this time though. And it, this isn't about the person coming back in with all these promises again. All right. What's this page of pentacles? Is this a baby? Is this a baby? Is this a pregnancy? Okay. Is that why? Is that why they're coming back to, to make everything better? Because they found out about a pregnancy? Or because there's renewed effort here. And there's kind of someone making all these promises about how they're going to really invest and commit to this relationship. And they're going to work on things. And what's this page of pentacles here? Strength again. Strength. Huh. So this is about, okay, this is about you knowing that you need to keep under yourself and you need to keep things the way they are at your um, household. And this is you not changing, even though it might be on your mind, you're not changing and moving on. Knowing it's the right thing to do, move on. Using logic and intuition, knowing it's the right thing to do to move on because there's brighter days ahead for you. Um, and you're, you know it's going to take time, but this is a new normal you're adjusting to and you're taking your lumps. There's This is... It's not a, a work or money read because you're not worried about it. You're firmly in control of that and you're kind of... You've got it so that you don't have to worry about it. Like you, you're working a lot. You're kind of staying ahead of the worry, so to speak. You're outworking the worry, um, and you're you're ready to be done with this. Like you're just ready for this to take the time so that you can kind of heal. Um, and if you're gonna work that hard, you'd rather be it on something that can actually give you something back, like a paycheck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like all this effort, and I got nothing to show for it. I'd rather at least get paid for it. You know, like. Throw that effort into my work and doing my own thing. And everything, there's no change in that. It's just you're without the drama now. You're without, it's like a load's been lifted. And you might be thinking about it a lot, but it's not like it It inspires you to go try something new. It, this is just kind of missing. 
a situation and wishing it could have been different, but accepting the way it is and looking to your future. Um, I, I'll, I will tell you that it kind of looks like this person does want to offer ways of things to be working out and you're not interested. And not only that, it kind of highlights what wasn't working or why it wasn't working. Um, this whole aspect of you being able to take care of yourself or self-care and you wanting to focus on yourself, you actually have the chance to do that now. And, you know, it's been a minute and you can. And what this person's offering what versus what you can give yourself and what you can provide for you and yours, you're more interested in you providing it for yourself now, not what this person can... Because, you know, they're, it's not for lack of trying. I mean, they're, they're really going to want to sing you a song about being able to take care of you and, and really, you know, just they're really going to want you on board with all this optimistic promises. It might take time. It's a little chaotic now, but, you know, you're my such and such. or That ship has sailed. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't intend for this to be a romantic reading, but I think because things are stable in other areas of your life, at least the other parts that I'm looking at, um, this showed up and it shows a lot of mental energy taking a look at what recently ended. So, but you're in a good place. You're stable, you're working hard, but you like it. It's, it's bringing you, um, it's, you know, good work for good money, honest work for honest pay, all that. Things are steady and quiet finally. And this time you're not going back at least for the month of May, you're not going back. I think a lot of times this person would show up and you'd consider it or you'd at least entertain it and talk and you two go back and forth because it's better to have someone breaking your heart than to have broken it, right? Because the logic, and not really, but the logic is, well, if they're still breaking it, we're still fighting, we're at least still in contact with it because it's better than the deficit or the void. It's better than me not talking. Some people, I'm not saying all, but sometimes it, it feels like for this type of situation, Part of the fighting was at least still being connected because there was still hope in a weird way. But you're on the other side of that now. What else for Capricorn? You prefer to be able to provide for yourself. You prefer it just being you. There it is, Queen of Swords. Making decisions, making... You're not emotionally invested anymore in this situation. This is you knowing what you need to do and doing it and being very clear-headed about what you know is right to do in this situation. I, th I think that's kind of huge because I think there was a real connection before based on this sort of really, these two. There's just that, there was that psychic connection that you felt and then it was just like this person really understood you and got you the way nobody else did and and you're like no I see that for what it is now I'd rather do that for I want to get back to me I'm not mm -mm. I'm not fall I see it for what it is I see clearly you might be thinking about it nostalgically but you're not emotional about it because this is all about leaving the past behind now and starting anew. And this is someone coming back in wanting to show you how it could be if we just, and you're like, I don't have time for if we just anymore. I've got bigger and better things. Could be an employer, but this feels romantic. It feels like a romantic reading. Capricorn. That was for Capricorn. Positive outcome. Look at that. Positive outcome. Being able to take care of yourself, things working out over time, and you have the wherewithal and the, and the perspective to be like, yeah, I know this is going to take time to work out. I know what's going on in the macro is going to take, you know, the Ronageddon, but I also know within me what's going on with my situation is going to take time. It's just going to take time, and things might be topsy-turvy, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I've got the Empress and the Pentacles, or Queen of Pentacles here. It's all about just staying the course taking care of you and yours, positive outcome. And I think intuitively you know that because for the Capricorns I'm reading for, a huge burden has been lifted and that in and of itself is like a positive outcome. You're just like, oh, I'm getting back to me. Ah, reset. Ah. So that in and of itself, but 
there's more to come, but it's going to take time. It's like things are going to slowly get put back together. Not so much outer. This is more internal. This is more in you, you know, yourself or your home, your own environs here. This is about you slowly being, um, putting things back, not because you're over in the corner dry heaving because you're in pain, but just because it's kind of more of a meandering leisurely putting things back, getting back to this, kind of getting back to that, kind of just this meandering because there's a flow here. There's just kind of this. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's just, it's interesting because this person, I think, I think this is a real practice dance that you two used to do and they'd come back in singing their song and you'd buy into it. And in this instance, it's actually helping fortify your reasons for knowing you need to leave the situation and walk away for good. Like this is actually, they think it might be hooking you back in, but I think it's, it's having the opposite effect. It's actually solidifying why you need to leave and like underscoring why this wasn't working out. You're seeing things clearly now. And they can't promise you anything that you can't give yourself. And I think you see that now. You're actually more in a stable position without them than you were with them in your life. There's a lot of chaos and burden that has been lifted. The world and temperance reversed. And I know that because I can see the shadow of my little dot there. <laughs> Um, so we've got the world and temperance reverse. Things are over because it was just unbalanced. It was never going to balance out. It was always going to be in the state of chaos. Um, this could also be the state of the world right now that even though outside it's really topsy turvy and it's like, holy cow, things are just, you know, really kind of up in the air. And this is you still maintaining things like the microcosm. You're still kind of rebounding from what you've been through and even though it's like this out there you're still resetting and positive outcome so it could be you know rona geddon but here's you still moving through it thriving could also be that this is why you and your person didn't work out because it just never hit any kind of momentum or flow and you've got that back now and you don't want to let go of that. That's more important now than your your priorities have shifted. That's more important than your connection with that person that could be singing a sweet song right now, but it just doesn't compare to what you know. You can't not know what you know. And you know you need to move on. Can't see that. That was the Queen of Swords or the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. I'm moving the wrong one over. <laughs> All right. Okay. I hope this was helpful. I don't know if you can see this. Of course you can't. It says positive outcome. I know I showed you that. I just want it in the frame. But I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading, Capricorn. Um, if, by and large, this is just you kind of moving through the month. You know? Just a slow, steady, kind of meandering month. And money's good and job's good. Which it feels really good to say because the way things are right now, like how just it's, there's a lot of unknowns. It, it feels good to go, oh yeah, that doesn't seem to be a concern for you. <laughs> okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. I hope you have a good May. Thank you for stopping by. Love and support to you. Thank you to first responders and essential workers. Thank you for your service. Mm -hmm.